um, I get asked some of the most asinine things. So here, here's here's an example, and this is actually kind of funny, and I'm gonna use a Windows example just because, well, Windows is easy to pick on. But I get an email today, and if you're in the audience, I am sorry, I'm not gonna use your name. But I get an email today, and I respond, you know. Sometimes I respond to emails, sometimes I don't. But I respond to an email, and uh, oh, the email goes something like this. Hey, what are your recommendations for Windows 7 and I was like, no, that's that's my recommendation. It's just no. Use Hackintosh, use Windows 10, use Linux. Do not use Windows 7. And uh, this guy responds back. He's like, yeah, I know. People say don't use Windows 7. I'm like, dude, it, it's pretty much the exact same thing as Windows 10. It has telemetry. It's even more bulky and, and just nasty in the days of climate. And then he responds back. He's like, well, mine's still pretty clean. And I'm like, what? He hasn't patched Windows 7 since 2015 because it slows down his system. And I'm just like, oh, no, you did not. I, I immediately responded back. I was like, hey, you're running a, a unpatched Windows 7 from 2015. A script kitty could hack you in one minute. Every single version of ransomware is based off an NSA tool developed in 2017 that will exploit your system. Literally do not connect that system to the internet. I was floored. I was like, this guy is using a five year old Windows 7 unpatched system and he's asking for recommendations. I was like, there's nobody that would possibly ever do that. Like, no, that is so dumb. So anyways, no names but I get those emails on occasion. Don't be that guy, don't be that guy. 